we can't just keep everything in our heads. If we keep everything in our heads, it, there's, we, we don't really hold ourselves accountable. So like when you, we add a deadline, I want you to like post that deadline, post it, post it notes everywhere, post it on your bathroom sink, post it on the door as you're going out, post it in your car, post it on your computer where you work. That is your non-negotiable deadline for the thing, right? Um, in terms of financials, I have the three different financial goals. Hey there, if you like this video, make sure to click the subscribe button so that we can let you know the next time that we drop a new video. So let's get back to it. The easy, the stretch, and the obscene. And when we take them out of our head and when we, we create like this physical sticky note that's tangible, that we can see, not only is it just you that are involved now, it's your partner, it's your spouse, it's your kids, like they're asking, they're doing, and because they see it too. Like, how are you doing, mom? How close are you, mom? How, did you do it today, mom? All of those things, right? Okay, so we've got our financial numbers. We've got a deadline. We've got our financials on what our goals are, right? So now let's break down easy peasy how we're gonna get it done in 90 days. So we have one big goal. I call it one big three little. <laughs> I know you're like, oh my God. Okay, teacher, homeschool and mom is coming out right now. We're gonna do the math, okay? So we've got one big goal and we have three little, all right? So the one big goal is obviously your 90 day goal. And this is totally perfect right now for what we're getting ready to go into. So if you haven't already launched your offer, what is your one big goal? All right, um, put it down. If you've launched your offer, then what is your one big goal? So you could use this anyway, right? Um, and then three littles. So what would three littles be? Three littles are the strategies or the things that you are going to do over the next three months. So think about it just kind of like a little pyramid here. We've got the one big goal, which is 90 days. So in month one, what are you gonna do to reach that goal? Easy. In month two, what are you gonna do to reach that goal? And month three, what are you gonna do to reach that goal? Now, part of the process is that you implement this strategy consistently. Part of the process is at the end of each 30 days, you go through a debrief session with yourself. Really, really crucial and important. And the things that I want you, when we're talking about debrief, you know, did I achieve my goal for the month? Did you do it? You implemented a strategy. Did you accomplish the goal? The next part is, was I consistent in my action steps? Another question you can ask yourself, what part of the strategy worked really well? What part of the strategy do I need to tweak? And here is a really important um, point to really ask yourself when you're going through a debrief and an evaluation. Can I continue to implement this strategy moving forward and as I grow? Because you could be doing a lot of things right now that you might not be able to support as you're moving forward, but you're setting this level of expectation, not only for yourself, but also for your customer. And they will continue to expect that. So as you continue to grow, can you continue to implement? You know, this really became apparent to me um, with my seasonal event. I mean, when you think of Target and Black Friday and all of those people that are involved that help me, like 400 volunteers, 50 staff members, right? So I have to think this little tweak that I do right now, right here, can I continue to do that from season to season? And it's funny because we always ask for feedback, right? That's part of the whole process, asking feedback from your customers. And some of the feedback that we get, I'm like, that is so unrealistic. Like, but I want, I want all of those crazy ideas, right? We're throwing them all on the whiteboard. I want all of those crazy ideas. So then I can look at those and think about the big picture and the trickle down effect, okay? Another question I want you to ask yourself in the debrief is, were there any surprises? And so the strategy that you start in month one to reach your 90 day goal, can you continue and implement it again in month two? And can you do a new strategy in month two to reach your 90 day goal? You go through the debrief and then you take both strategies and you go to the third month. You go through the third month, you're implementing, you do the debrief, and that's a really big debrief. You should be looking at month one and month two. You should be looking at your results. And then did you reach your 90-day goal? 
It really is just that easy. It does not need to be a lot of spreadsheets, complication, all of the things. Um, to be honest, I just don't have time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that, right? But it's an easy way to make goal setting tangible. Why is that? Is because if we think about what we're going to do for 90 days and we actually get it out of our heads and put it down on paper, it's overwhelming. Then you look at it and what are you going to do? Procrastinate. You're not going to do it. When you break it down into three easy strategies to support the one big goal, then that one strategy that month, guess what? You got four weeks that you can break it down into. Oh, and you got seven days that you can break it down into. So we go from 90 to 30 to four to seven. Then when I wake up in the morning, I'm focused just on the one thing. That's easy. That's how you could do it. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you click the first link in the description, Freedom to Impact, for any of the resources that we've talked about in today's video. You'll also be able to find our Customers for Life podcast. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and we'll talk soon.